<sighs> What's up, everyone? Uh, I decided to kind of take a little bit of a break from all the Asperger shit to uh, try to uh, try to build up a little bit of a discussion with you guys about something that I've actually been discussing with myself in my head. Um, and that that it's actually a political uh, topic. So if you don't like politics, please kindly fuck off. Um, it goes without saying that it seems like uh, like more and more. Uh, people of both the Democratic and Republican parties are becoming totally disillusioned and disenfranchised with their, uh, their respective parties. Um, you know, case in point, and uh, you might be an exception, but the majority of conservatives I know don't like Trump, even though he's the nominee. The majority of liberals I know don't like Hillary, even though she's probably going to be the nominee. And like I said, you might be an exception, but that's how it is in my neck of the woods. That's how it is uh, with my social net. And it seems like more and more people are just becoming fed up with their parties, uh, especially among younger voters who are little by little becoming the, 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 uh, the largest voting block. They're becoming the largest percentage of voters. Uh, and when I, when I say that, I mean like Generation Y and Millennials. And uh, it brings up an interesting, interesting uh, question. Will the Republican and Democratic parties, which are the two major parties in the, in the U.S., will they both be replaced by two other parties because of, uh, it, uh, because of everybody's voters disenfranchised, dis, uh, being disenfranchised and everything? So will those parties, the Republican and Democratic parties, be replaced by the Libertarian and Greed parties, respectively? It seems to me like younger voters, uh, Gen Y, uh, maybe uh, old, younger Gen X, millennials, uh, who, are, who are conservatives, they're more libertarian-minded. They, they, they're not social conservatives. You know, they have no problem with pot legalization or gay marriage or you know, any of that sort of thing. They're not necessarily religious fundamentalists. And so they might be for smaller government and lower taxes and free market economics, but they, they're very disillusioned with what the Republican Party has become. And likewise, a lot of liberals I know, neo, newer liberals, they don't like the fact that a lot of Democrats, the Democratic Party has, been some, has become so corporate and so globalist. They don't like Hillary Clinton for that reason. Uh, they become more green-oriented. They care more about, uh, about environmentalism and about, you know, and I know the Democratic Party's always kind of been about that, but uh, it isn't really that much anymore, or not truly anyway. And, you know, newer liberals, younger liberals are more green-minded. They don't really care as much about, you know, uh, they, they don't like the fact that the Democratic Party has gotten so, so corporate this and globalist that. So uh, I'm actually reading an article right here uh, from 1992 called Greens and Libertarians, The Yin and Yang of Our Political Future by Dan Sullivan. And this article, which is uh, 24 years old, uh, actually predicts that the Greens and Libertarians will be the new Liberals and Conservatives, respectively. Uh, you know, Greens will be the new Liberals, Libertarians will be the new Conservatives. And little by little, I kind of see that happening. But here's my question to you guys. Do you think that in the grand scheme of things, the Republican and Democratic parties will be replaced with the libertarian and green parties. Not replace this in the sense of, you know, oh, let's ban those, the Democrats and ban the Republicans. And, no, but I mean replace in terms of popularity, in terms of um, uh, and prominence, in terms of prominence. Will uh, new and up-and-coming conservatives cling more to the libertarian party and will new and up-and-coming liberals cling more to the green, uh, the green party? Because that's what it seems like to me. It seems like they will. Um, oddly enough, I kind of consider, you know, to get off topic, but uh, I'm more of a green libertarian. I, I believe that, uh, I believe in, you know, helping the earth and that kind of stuff. And I do believe in uh, other energy sources, like, uh, that are more clean and efficient, like uh, solar, geothermal, and perhaps even nuclear. Uh, uh, however, I do not think that those sources should come into prominence by way of government oversight and regulations. I think it's going to come into prominence uh, by way of uh, market competition and um, and consumer demand, I think that the market is going to make those things come into play. So I believe in free market. I believe in smaller government. 
but I also believe in more green initiative. And I personally think, in my opinion, that free market economics, free enterprise, can uh, share a symbiotic relationship with environmentalism. That's just my idea. Um, that's just me. I'm not going to get into a debate about what I think. But it doesn't fucking matter what I think. What does it matter what you think? What do you think? Do you think, personally, that the Libertarian and Green Party will become the two main parties? Libertarians uh, being the party that uh, draws forward the conservatives and the Green Party being the party that uh, draws uh, more liberals. Do you think that they will uh, replace in popularity and prominence the Republican and uh, Democratic Party? Uh, not only do you think that's going to happen, would you like to see that happen and why? Or am I just talking out of my ass and do you think the Republican and Democratic parties are good enough and maybe they just need to both be fixed? Maybe those two parties need to be fixed. What do you think? Personally, I would rather see the Libertarians and Greens um, running the show because I think that they both have a much better head on their shoulders and they're a little more down to earth and, uh, than the Republicans and Democrats are in modern day. But again, who cares what I think? What I think doesn't fucking matter. I'm asking you. Yeah, you, you, you. What do you think? What do you think in terms of everything I've just described? Please answer my question. What do you think? Yeah.